hey guys how you guys doing and welcome back today i got some reviews for you some reviews tarte recently launched their rainforest of the sea collection and i was lucky enough to get some products to dabble my hands in i want to do a first impressions on some of the products that i got i got the tarte hybrid gel foundation and the shade is in sand i also got the rainforest of the sea water foundation and i also got the rainforest of the sea eyeshadow palette that's how that looks like and then i got the this one is the double duty beauty eye and cheek palette so this is how that one looks like first of all i'm gonna tell you what the foundation i'm gonna be using today is today i'm actually going to try the rainforest of the sea foundation today i'm actually logging into sephora i'm gonna tell you what the foundation is all about the foundation is actually available in 12 different shades it is a lightweight full coverage hydrating foundation infused with charts rainforest of the sea complex and non-chemical spf 15 sunscreen so basically this foundation is gonna give you an ultimate hydration boosting coverage it's also a 12 hour water foundation it says the concentrated Full coverage fluid formula features a 20% water to quench dry skin as it covers and max any redness, dark spots, and uneven skin tone while softening the look of pores and fine lines. The custom dropper application delivers the perfect level of moisture-rich coverage in an array of shades to match any skin tone. Powered by Tarte's antioxidant packed Rainforest of the Sea Complex and non-chemical SPF 15. It's also hyperallergenic and it also restores, brightens, and defends the skin from free radicals and early signs of aging. It's also paraben-free and phthalate free as well so we're gonna test this stuff out so first of all as always as I do with any video that I do I always wear primer regardless of any foundation I put on and I'm gonna be using the Tarte one because I absolutely love this primer I brought this with my own money I love the primer so much so we're gonna use that on today and this is gonna like minimize pores on my skin now, the problem that I've been hearing with this Tarte foundation is that it has limited shades it only has 12 shades right and it only has one dark shade that is as dark as my skin. It's a semi liquidy and thick te texture. It's not too thin and it's not too uh, thick. And this picks up product and you can just drop it on your skin. Okay. I'm going to be using this Luxie Beauty 534 Angle Top Buffer. And we're just going to actually place the foundation on the face and we're going to buff it in. I'm just going to do it on one half of my face so you guys can see the difference between one side and the other. So you guys can tell me how it looks like. We're going to just take the brush and I normally like starting from the center of my face and blend it outward. This is one layer of the foundation. I think I need another layer because I still can see imperfections right here. I can see, you know, imperfections from my scarring. I can see a lot of unevenness under the eyes. So I'm just going to take the dropper and add a couple of more drops in there. Okay, and we're just going to take that brush. This is how one half of my face looks like. My face is usually a little bit darker than my body, but this foundation actually matches me from the face down to the neck. My neck is actually the same color of the foundation, which is awesome. And I feel like it's not full coverage per se, it's medium to full. So I believe that you're gonna have to build it up twice to get full coverage. Like right now, it is full coverage right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete the rest of my face and I'm gonna be right back to show you guys how it looks like. So I actually went back, did my brows and everything so I don't look like a crazy mess on camera. This foundation is matte. Like if you're oily, yeah, this is the foundation for you if you're oily. Like I'm a little dry now because of the winter so I should have used a hydrating primer but it looks nice. I like the finish of the foundation. I'm surprised. It matches me. Like you guys can tell. It completely matches my chest area everywhere. So that shade was in Deep Honey. And if you're my shade in Makeup Forever's Y505, this will match you. This will be your perfect shade. Even the Makeup Forever doesn't really match me to a T. This matches me to a T. So next we're gonna be looking at the Brave Forest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. It comes with eight shades and they're all shimmery. There's about two satin shades. I'm gonna just swatch all of them and let you see the colors and everything. So here are all the shades swatched on my 
hands they do look like they would work on my skin tone because they actually show up these two first shades are the satin shades they're not quite matte and they're not shimmery so they're satin and the rest of the six shades are all metallic and these shades are a reminder they look like the makeup forever rt shadows they swatch so effortlessly and they're creamy and they have a little little bit of fallout but I like that they're pigmented and that's what I expect from a palette. A palette has to be pigmented and then I'm gonna show you guys the other palette so this is the palette I don't know the name of the blush it doesn't have the name of the blush but it has four neutral shades I'm gonna swatch them and the blush so the top portion right here is the blush and I don't know the name but that's the blush right here and these the rest of the shades are the eyeshadows now I would say about these eyeshadows they do have a different formula from the other ones they feel more like the Tarte actual formula like, and I do love these shadows their quality because I do have a lot of Tarte palettes so the other palette this one has more quality to them than these so I like this one I'm gonna actually go in between the palettes because that palette has to uh, has a, a matte brown that I would like to use um, so we're gonna start with prime in the eyes and I'll be right back so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see me in action I'm actually gonna do it backwards this time around because I'm normally used to putting my transition then doing all the other ones but I want to apply my brow bone shade actually just now okay I want to go with this shade right here it's called mermaid we're gonna apply that as a brow bone highlight well I'm gonna switch out the brush because this brush that I use looks too big I should have known better just right for my skin tone and I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and by the way I actually want to tell you the time I didn't tell you the time when I put the foundation on but we'll start from 12 12 p.m. so that's the time for the transition we're going into this dark matte brown because we don't have any matte brown in that shade that that actually what's makes the palette a downfall and I'm gonna be using the Morphe MB23 brush and we're going to work that color in the in the crease I'm gonna lightly apply it because it looks like it's so pigmented I wish I had a lighter color but we're gonna work with this today because this shadow actually requires a lot of blending I don't know maybe because I put too much shadow insurance it could be that you have to like really really blend get it going but it is pigmented so I'm gonna take the Japanex brush go with the same color and apply that in the outer V so this is gonna give you a nice concentrated blend of the color that took a while to blend okay we're gonna go with wave see that shade here and we're gonna place that on the lid and then I'm gonna take this Luxie Beauty brush as a small taper blending in 231 and then we're gonna go into this shade it's called Abyss it's like a really gorgeous cranberry brown shade very shimmery and we're going to apply that in the outer V for the inner corners I'm gonna be going with seashell and just taking the blush that I used to apply the eyeshadow to blend the highlight in and then we're gonna go with that same dark shade the abyss we're gonna apply it to the lower lash line and then we're going to go with this shade it's called starfish it's a very gorgeous color actually I put reef so let's go with reef actually put reef there by mistake but it looks great then I'm gonna actually put eye drops on my eyes my eyes are so red let me put eye drops and I'll be right back so I already did my whole face off camera I did my foundation routine with concealer under my eyes and then we are going to use the blush in the palette and we're just gonna apply that oh my god I applied too much sorry and the blush shows up on my skin tone so that's awesome just gonna stipple that blush on you guys should not underestimate these Amazonian clay blushes they're so amazing my favorite eyeliner is also from Tarte like I love it I'm gonna use the essence one it's a long lasting eyeliner actually probably just gonna try that out for the first time it's in black so I applied the eyeliner so I'm gonna actually apply mascara off camera and I'll be back so as you guys have seen I've already done my face off camera it's actually 122 so the foundation has been on my face for like almost an hour and 30 minutes I like the coverage I did not add powder to my face I only set under my eyes and my highlighted areas where I put the concealer everywhere else I didn't add powder because I want to see the staying power of this foundation this foundation has been claimed to last for 12 hours so I want to see how well that holds up if you guys want me to do a review of the mousse one let me know because I'll have to do a separate review 
I like the match of the foundation. It's that's what I want to say first. Look at me. It doesn't look like you know the L'Oreal one that I reviewed last. Oh my god, that was gross. As you guys can see, oh the eyeshadow is like I like the look of the eyeshadow and they blend so smoothly. Officially, I'm gonna get off this camera so I can wear this foundation throughout the day and I'll be back in a couple of hours. So officially it's 124 p.m. and peace out for now. So guys, I'm back. Right now it's actually 6, 12 p.m. I've had this foundation for over six hours on my face. Right now, I don't see any oil. So that's like a little clapper right here. I don't see any oil on my face because of course I am oily on my T-zone. I didn't use a mattifying primer whatsoever. I only used a smoothing primer, but I didn't see any oil. So that's a good thing. And it's been over six hours. So that's really really awesome I still have my blush and tag also my highlighter so that shows that the foundation hasn't broken down and hasn't started wearing off and of course I didn't set this foundation at all I did not put no setting powder or anything on this foundation so I'm gonna keep this foundation on for at least four more hours or less and I'll be back at the end of the night we're back officially now it's 10 51 p.m. of course I've had this foundation for 10 hours 10 hours and plus. Let me look at it up close. I can already see where the oil is breaking through right here. Foundation has started like coming in my smile line right here. I add a little bit so it kind of rubbed off here. This is the problem I have with foundations. They normally break through around my nose. You can see it gathering right there. Pores are starting to show and oil is starting to show. Forehead is a little shiny. Of course, I'm not gonna blink on the foundation because I've had this foundation for 10 hours and counting. I've had it on since 12. It might even be earlier than that, but I've had it on for 10 hours. So this foundation is amazing. The cons is that this foundation is not 12 hours because I already see that it's breaking down. I believe if you set your face with a uh, powder in between, it could last for 12 hours. But if a foundation tells me that it's 12 hours, it should be able to work without powder. That being said, foundation does last at least 10 hours like on my face it still looks good on camera but I can see the problems I can see the oil peeking through and that's normal I'm um, combination oily not totally oily so I'm gonna expect oil to come through the places that I normally get oil from the other con that I'm gonna mention is that the shade selection I know this video might be so crazy for the fact that I'm doing it for everybody I'm not doing it for a specific demographic anybody that's interested in this foundation can watch this video and take my review or not take my review I wish Tarte if Tarte is watching this video, I wish you guys can come up with more shades of this foundation because I promise you people are going to like this foundation. I enjoy it. And the fact that the shade that, that I'm wearing is the last shade you offer, that shouldn't be the case. This is a good foundation. You guys need to come up with more shades, make it permanent because I know a lot of dark skinned beauties like me that are darker than me are going to enjoy it. They're going to love this foundation because I really like it. The other cons that I would say is that they said that you only need a little product to get your skin covered i had to use quite a little bit of product not too much but it's like that with every other foundation i have and plus i wasn't using any concealer under the only concealer i used was to highlight i didn't use any concealer to cover up any blemish or whatsoever i didn't do any of that at all with that being said if you do want to uh, minimize the use of this foundation i would suggest using a concealer to correct your spots and then apply it so you don't have to use so much of the foundation like i did when I initially put it on my face like this whole packaging thing I wish they just made it a pump it's more easier and to manage and to handle I don't like the fact that you have to take it like a little serum it kind of reminds me of my Lancome serum that I have to take out that's a different total thing but this one I wish it came in a pump like regular foundation if I was to rate this foundation I would give it a 7.5 I would have rated it to 8.5 if it had more shades for darker skin but because we we don't have that selection i'm gonna rate it down to a 7.5 if you guys are watching maybe you guys can come up with more shades at least five more shades and have other people that are darker than me try out the foundation and also they should be an in-between because when i look at the shades online they were so much variations of light 
and there was only one dark smacked in the middle like they should have had other variations of dark that are dark lighter than me and variations of dark that are darker than me but it was like a, a real gap between the lighter shades and the darker shade the darker shade is literally the darkest of everything everything looks so light that's it for my review if you guys are watching this video and you enjoyed this review please don't forget to hit the like button as usual and if you're new to my channel and you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys again for your love and support i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye